Hey there and welcome. Today we're going to be reacting on a video called Men Destroys Women in Boxing Match. So uh, let's see what happens. And the reason I'm doing these videos, by the way, guys, is to wake some of you women up. If you're watching this, the 5% of subscribers that are women, if you're a guy watching this, send this to your sister or your mother so they can wake up and realize reality before they put themselves in a very dangerous position. Stupid. Men are women. Men are stronger than women. Period. 99% of the time. There are some women, obviously, that are stronger. But if you really need that to be said, you're dumb. You need to wake up. Just because a small percentage of women are stronger than men does not mean, does not make a, it, that doesn't prove anything. That just means that, it, just like anything, any there's never 100% of everything. So, generalities speaking in generalities is important because then we could never have a conversation about the overwhelming reality of the truth so this is just another case uh here so let's watch the video let's see how he destroys them or what they mean by that we interrupt this program to bring you the number one jerk of the month he's a san francisco radio guy Hey, nice skeleton costume. This dude invited listeners, women only, to show up at a boxing ring and fight him for free concert tickets. I don't understand why they're wording it like that. This is why, man, I can't talk to people these days too much. People are too passive aggressive and it's annoying. They call him a jerk, try to clown his skeleton costume. But he says he'll give out free tickets if you come and fight. And the girls agree to it and show up. So I guess it makes the girl stupid, if that's the case. But this guy, I mean, <laughs> it's hilarious in my opinion, but these girls clearly think that they could take him, so let's see what happens. And he promised to whip their butts. This guy's wild. He's he's actually using like wrestling technique. He's crazy. It's definitely not legal in boxing. Is this dude battering women? And if that ain't bad enough, he's even a cheap shot artist using headbutts and body slams. Okay, this guy definitely is a jerk. Like now I understand why he said that, but. It's crazy that they made that assumption so quick, but this guy, this guy's definitely an idiot. To beat him up. This guy's such a dirtbag. He wails on women even after oh. they're knocked down. Yeah, I would definitely like whoop this guy's butt. This guy's an idiot. Not cool at all. That's dirty. I'm surprised they didn't stop this already. This woman's just trying to cover up and wants the fight stopped. But tough guy just keeps pounding away on her until she's bloody and collapses. Wow, radio dude. You must be feeling real good about yourself right about now. There's a very special place in hell for dudes like you. Yeah, so <laughs> this guy is crazy. Um, guy's definitely an idiot. Uh, I would love to have boxed him, but guy's definitely an idiot. Throwing the most illegal things you could imagine. If anybody did that in any type of scenario in a boxing match, they would get immediately disqualified. Uh, so I remember, I'll tell you guys a sparring story of uh, one guy that I was sparring. And I used to box out of a gym in New Jersey called um, Ike and Randy's Boxing Gym. So at the time, you know, I was young, maybe 17 years old, and I was sparring this guy was maybe 25, 30. He was definitely had way more experience than me. So I was glad to have, you know, worked with someone like that. However, I was beating the crap out of him. Like I was boxing maybe at that point six months and he was boxing for a few years 
but I don't know. It was just natural for sure. Like I, I was, uh, I was definitely more of a natural boxer and I didn't need so much training to get better. However, we were sparring and I remember I landed maybe five or six uppercuts just in one round, like clean uppercuts. And I remember there was one, I, I slipped his jab or sorry, I slipped on, I slipped his uh, jab one on the inside and then threw a left uppercut up the middle. And as soon as it, as soon as it, he knew it was coming, he slipped it and then went for a, he shot for a double leg. So he tackled me on the ground like hard. And I was like, yo. So then immediately the coach, the coach, uh, his name, uh, he, his name is terrific. He was, um, what's the guy? Kendall Holt, lightweight champion, lightweight champion, like actual champion in boxing, his coach. And he was there like, you know, kind of supervising the sparring match. He jumps in the ring. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? He gets in the guy's face, like yelling at him. The guy's like looking down, like, oh crap, this is embarrassing. Um, so and I'm just there, like, oh my God, I'm gonna kill this guy. Like, I'm definitely gonna knock him out. No question. I didn't knock him out, but I was I was close. He was too, he was too good for me to knock out, but I was throwing like I wanted to knock him out. So he asked me, terrific asked me, you want to keep going? I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go as many rounds as he wants. So then when we did that, he let us, he, you know, he separated us. He said, don't do that again. We're going to throw you out. And he starts yelling at him. So uh, we go back and I, I load up on every possible shot I can throw. The guy was bloody. He had like a bloody nose and everything. I was even chipped a little bit, but I wanted to keep going. And we went maybe four or five rounds. And then, you know, we both were kind of just like, all right, that's it. He, he was like, all right, that's it. He went like this. He goes like this. He's, he Then he walks out the ring. And then I'm, I'm kind of still heated, but I'm like, whatever. It ended. And about to go trying to fight this guy outside the ring. We settled it like men inside the ring for something dirty that he did. And then, you know, I'm out there taking off my – or getting my gloves taken off because they were, they were laces at the time. I don't use laces anymore. It's so inconvenient. But – I was uh, basically sitting down, taking, uh, getting my gloves taken off. My coach took off one glove. I took off the other one. He came by and says, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to do that. It was just in the heat of the moment, you know. And then I was like, it's all right. It's all right. You know, I, it wasn't, like, great. But I was like, I respect the fact that he came to apologize. But that just goes to show you. That's how men deal with stuff. Uh, he's dirty. Uh, he, did, he did something that was dirty, but he apologized for it. This guy in this video is just dirty, period. He, he's uh he's crazy um i hope somebody beat him up anyway i hope you guys found this video helpful and informative if you did comment down below do you agree with my assessment if not let me know if you do let me know also and i will see you guys in the next video bye